right, what's up? Just leaving the gym. You know how it is. It was a full day today, so it was good. We went at 9.30, not too early. And it was funny, I'm wearing this iFly indoor skydiving shirt, and there's this guy in there that came up to me and was like, he showed me his shirt. He was also wearing an iFly skydiving shirt, and the closest one to us is in Seattle, which is like five hours away. I was like, dang, that's pretty cool. What are the chances of that happening? Meeting someone five hours away from Seattle with the same shirt from something that's only in Seattle. That's pretty crazy. But then he told me he's gonna get his, I think he said his AA in or something, some type of certificate in skydiving over near us, which is pretty cool. And uh, I only did it one time, the indoor skydiving. We just went there for the day, but it was really fun. And yeah, so today at the gym, we listened to, um, I think we listened to Hamza. Uh, he was talking about, he was talking about a Jordan, Jordan Peterson's book, which Jordan Peterson is really good. He's another one of the, the um, like, I guess you could say self-improvement, but he's more just like traditional. He's a Canadian, and he likes to talk about being a man and how men should be and stuff, and he's really good. But I guess he wrote a book, which I didn't know he had a book, and Hamza was talking about it, and like talking about the principles like the most important principle is you should have good posture and you should stand up straight with your shoulders back and your chest out because your posture determines where you're at in life like the level of hierarchy that you're at and people who walk around like they own the places usually do usually they either do or they end up owning the places and the people that just like like especially kids nowadays when they sit on their phone and they're hunched over they end up being like just working minimum wage for a long time and stuff so that was really interesting I've heard that before and I'm pretty sure I, that was Jordan Peterson that I heard it from before and then another one of the things was like don't be friends with your kids like you should discipline your kids and because if you don't do it then the world is going to do it and it's likely that the way the world is going to do it it's going to be a lot harsher it's gonna be a lot harsher than the way that you would do it if you actually just did it so that they learned and another one was um, don't interrupt kids while they're skateboarding which was just like a uh, what's that word it's like a um, oh man brain fart it's like a the thing where it's not actually means what it says so like I guess irony maybe irony but anyways it was like let kids do and Hamza gave the example of kids that lean back in their chair like in the classroom and stuff and then the teacher you know they always yell at you don't lean back in your chair you're gonna fall over and crack your head open but they they never know unless they actually do it and some things kids you just have to let kids learn the hard way sometimes and like I know Jordan Peterson I've heard him talk about it before and he's like when kids grab an egg out of the fridge and they start juggling with it or throwing it around and parents usually would yell at them to put the egg back why just let them how much does an egg cost like 20 cents let them break the egg and find out what happens when they do that and then make it make them clean it up and then they'll learn and it will be a much more like beneficial learning experience than if they just listen to what you said so that one was cool and there was a couple other there was 12 points that he talked about but I forget what the other ones were and then that one was pretty short that video so then we went and listened to Andrew Huberman in his most recent video which was like discussing the why the why to your life or something and 
I don't know, I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to see it. It was pretty good. He was interviewing, or not really interviewing, but he was talking with this lady that was a really good violin player and now, and then she injured her hand and then now she's a scientist. I forget her name, but it was kind of interesting because they were talking about like, most people place like what they do becomes their personality and like oh that was another point too that connected to the Hamza video and Jordan Peterson's book was like your perception of yourself becomes your reality so if you're trying to become someone like decide who you want to become and then view yourself in that way and the chances are like you'll end up doing things that will push you to become that person that you want to be that's also something that they touched on in the Andrew Huberman video and um, he's talking about like your identity what you do what people do becomes their identity and like the lady gave the example when she was a violin player she's like when she would introduce herself to new people, that would be what she would lead with before even her name. She'd be, hi, I'm a violin, a violinist. My name is whatever her name is. And that was really interesting too. So like, whatever you do, whatever you do, make sure you're okay with it becoming your, um, your, uh, identity basically so anyways we're gonna wrap it up there Toby's following me to my house so we can get a I can change his oil in his car and, and yeah so I'm gonna wrap it up there and uh, make sure to join the discord link in description um, subscribe share the video and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one